There we go. Hey, how's everybody doing today? I hope everyone's having an amazing day. We are back out on one of my local rivers chasing after some fish with the kayak. We've got about five hours to fish. The stretch we're fishing today never gets fished. This body of water is basically untouched by anyone else. And these fish are insanely aggressive for one lure and that is top water. It is the best thing to throw here. It doesn't matter what time of day these fish will hammer top water and what better lure than a top water bat. It looks absolutely crazy but the fish in here are crazy enough to eat it as well. It is a beautiful morning here out on the water. I'm excited to throw the kayak in and see what fish are aggressive to eat a bat this morning. Like I said before, we have five hours to fish, which is more than enough time to get on some fish. I'm gonna get the kayak all ready. We're gonna throw it in and let's go catch a river monster. What a beautiful morning for topwater fishing. There is a little bit of wind, but I don't think that's gonna make too big of an issue. We are kind of blocked from the wind with all the trees around us. So it should be a great morning to get on some fish. I'm curious to see how this bat looks in the water. I'm hoping the fish are gonna be aggressive for topwater like they usually are. Doesn't really matter the time of day, they'll eat something off the top of the water. They always do. And this action is absolutely beautiful. I'm sure a lot of fish haven't seen something like this. Oh, he missed it. Let me get another cast in there. Oh, oh, he's still on it. Got him. Oh, he missed it again. That was weird, my drag just slipped. He's back. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> no, that's a different one, I think. This one's a little smaller. Holy cow, these fish are aggressive. Might be the same one. Hard to tell. And that right there is the first one on the bat. That is awesome. I wonder if that was two different fish or if this guy is just insanely aggressive. Beautiful fish. Get it right back in. I had to tighten up my drag a little bit. I didn't even realize my drag was so loose that first time. I think that first fish seemed a little bit bigger, but I could be wrong. No matter what, they're aggressive. Oh, pulled it a little quick on that one. Got him. There we go. That's a good smallie. Not a bad fish at all. Beautiful little river smallie on the bat. That is awesome. Not a monster, but uh, definitely a good fish. These fish are just so long. If only they were just fatter. Such a shame. Good fish though. We're gonna get it right back in the water and hopefully catch one a little bit bigger here. These river fish are just gorgeous. Let's get it right back in the water. And there she goes. Awesome. These fish are so aggressive. It is amazing. We're gonna keep on going, do some more casts and see what we catch next. Usually when they hit it like that, they'll kind of bend these out a little bit. There we go, oops. Look at that turtle right there. You guys can kind of see him in the water. I love this river so much. To me, it's more about the nature than it is the fishing. I can go anywhere and catch fish like this, but this river is so peaceful for two reasons. One, 
there is wildlife everywhere. I probably see 25 to 30 eagles every time I make this stretch and a whole bunch of deer. I'll see them crossing the river, I'll see them on the shorelines. And uh, reason number two, I have only seen one other person on this stretch of the river that is actually fishing. Occasionally you'll see people tubing down it or you'll see people kayaking just for fun. But rarely do I ever see another fisherman, which makes it even better. I always have the whole place to myself, no other people out here, and I can just enjoy it. Listen to the birds chirping and just have a good time. You don't hear any cars, there's no traffic, all you hear is nature. And it makes this even more fun. I mean, if I just be quiet, beautiful. Other than birds, I haven't really seen too much. A couple turtles. I saw an eagle earlier. I'm hoping to see a lot more. And of course, we're gonna see some deer. Without a doubt, we're gonna see some deer. I was out here yesterday and I think I saw 15 or 20 deer. They were just kind of crossing the river, making their way through. There's a fish. Come here, buddy. A little small, it feels like, yep. Not a bad one at all. That is so cool. These fish are amazing. These fish are absolutely amazing. How aggressive they are right now. It's about, I think, one o'clock in the afternoon. And that does not matter at all. These fish will bite no matter what. Nice little fish. Let's get it right back in the water. See you later, buddy. Awesome. One of the coolest things I've ever seen here was like a four and a half foot sturgeon jumped right in front of me. I was paddling on down this way and it kind of surfaced and just came right out of the water right in front of me when my cameras weren't on. So, you know, it's kind of my word against everyone else's. I'm like 90% sure it was real. I do kind of remember it could have been a dream, but I don't think so. I think I remember it being real, but then again, like, it's one of those things, it was like two years ago, it might have been a dream that I thought was real. I don't know, because I don't have a video of it, I usually never turn my cameras off. Pretty much probably happened, I don't know, could have been a dream. I think it happened, but then again, it definitely could have been a dream. Now that I think about it, that might have been a dream. Just the two of us, we can make it if we try, just the two of us. YouTube don't copyright me or I'll cry, just the two of us. We're making it up to this spot up here. Usually it holds a few fish. It's just a matter of are those few fish gonna wanna bite. Definitely a calm day. I think the wind stopped a little bit, so should be a little easier to fish top water without anything in our way. We're gonna kinda gracefully make our way through here. Go about, I think it's about a quarter mile up to this next spot, flip a few casts and see what wants to bite up there. Let's go on a little adventure back here. I'm curious to see what's going on right over here. Well, a couple little smallies right there. All right. We're gonna leave the kayak right there. We're gonna move on down here. Could be something. Lurking right there. Probably would have gotten spooked by now. It's seeming pretty shallow here. We'll see if we can kind of get around this corner and do a few casts. I think there's a little river that runs off back here. Look at all those tadpoles. Holy cow. That is a lot of tadpoles. I don't think they're going to be a fish, but... It's always worth a try to me. Too shallow. Oh, this looks good right back here. I've never fished this before. I'm not sure why, I don't think I've ever seen it. I think this is a separate river that kind of runs off to this one and connects. We'll see if there's any fish back in here. Hopefully there should be something. 
looks too good to not have some fish. Look at that smallmouth right there. Oh, he likes it. I think he sees me. Yeah, he was interested. Should be something right there. There we go. Just a little guy. We'll get you right back in the water, buddy. There you go. Should be something right over here. A little structure, some trees and brush in the water. Should be something. <laughs> Hit that. You're joking. Hooks aren't dull. Interesting. Maybe I just gotta set the hook a little bit harder. Lure's not working right now. Wasn't a half bad one. I don't know how that fish got off. Might just have to set her a lot harder. Well, that's not good. Broken now, great. <laughs> Weird. I don't think it's gonna work with just one of these. No, it's not. I don't even know how that happens. That is dumb. Well, the bait's broken. One day of fishing and it's broken. Brand new lure. Oh, it's just one of those days, I guess. That's all right, though. Hooks apparently weren't working too well either. I'll switch to a different topwater. We've only got a little bit of fishing left, but I'll switch to a different topwater. We can throw that around for a little bit and see what happens. Maybe they're just hungry for a whopper plopper and this was God telling me to switch.
There's got to be one right there. Really? Huh. Interesting. Oh my gosh. That's a brown trout. That's got to be a 30 inch brown. Holy cow, he came out for the top water. Oh my gosh, that's the biggest brown I've ever seen in my life. That had to have been close to 30. He was following out the top water. I would have liked to have seen him eat it. Holy cow, that was a giant. There is a trout stream right next to here. I've just never seen one that big. Wow. Last cast, and we're gonna have to call it a day. There we go. <laughs> That's one way to end it. Wow, that is definitely one way to end it. All right, buddy, just a little one. Aggressive though, all that matters to me. That is awesome. Buddy, let me get you a safe release there, and there you go. Make sure she swims off. There you go. That is awesome. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Yeah, it's not exactly how I thought it would turn out. Usually I at least get a few more nicer sized fish. Today was just an off day, but that's all right. Like I said, it's fishing. I'm out here to have fun, enjoy nature, and uh, did a little bit of both today. We caught some fish, we had a good time. We saw that giant brown trout towards the end. That thing was massive. I don't think I've ever seen one that big. I think I'm gonna come back here with some of my trout gear and go walk on down there and give it a few casts down there, see what happens. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, new videos, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 11. If you guys don't know, if we hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year, which at this pace, it should maybe take a few more months. You guys are insane. I've gained, I think, more subscribers in the last about month than I have in the last eight years of YouTube. So that is uh, definitely something. Eight years of YouTube and I've doubled that in just the last month in subscribers absolutely unreal i love you guys so much thanks for all the support and like i said if we hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year i will buy and give away a boat to one of you guys i did a kayak giveaway last year for 10,000, so i thought for 50,000 we should up it a little bit i'm not really sure what type of boat if i want to get a john boat and put a trolling motor on it or if i want to get a pond prowler something from bass pro shops haven't really thought about what boat i've looked at the pond prowlers they're a nice looking boat put a trolling motor on that thing and you can go just about anywhere I'll see, maybe a John built something along those lines. Who knows yet? But like I said, thank you guys for the support. I love you guys so much. It is Thursday night. I'm gonna get home, start editing this video. Should hopefully be done editing by 5 a.m. And then I can have it posted by 11. That's kind of my goal right before I go to work. So we should be good on that. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.